Did you know that astronauts can vote from space? Voting on the ground might seem simple, but casting a ballot while orbiting Earth brings unique challenges. For American astronauts, the challenge isn't just about distance, it's about logistics. Back in 1996, astronaut John Blaha wanted to vote in the presidential election while stationed on Russia's Mir space station. But Texas, where most astronauts vote from, had no rules for electronic ballots. That changed a year later when Texas passed a law allowing astronauts to vote electronically. In 1997, David Wolf became the first American to cast a vote from space in a Houston local election, making history. Since 2004, American astronauts on the ISS have voted in every presidential election except for one. They submit a secure electronic ballot downlinked to NASA's Johnson Space Center and sent to their local county clerk, just like a soldier stationed abroad. Leroy Xiao was the first to vote in a presidential election from space in 2004 followed by many others like Kathleen Rubens, who voted in both 2016 and 2020. While most astronauts register to vote in Texas, some are registered elsewhere. Andrew R. Morgan, for example, voted from space in Pennsylvania's 2019 local elections. His local voter services worked with NASA to make it happen. But the United States isn't the only country to send voting into orbit. In 1971, the Soviet Soyuz 11 crew became the first to cast ballots from space, voting in the election for the 24th Congress of the Communist Party while on board Salyut 1. Since then, Russian cosmonauts have continued the tradition, although they typically vote by proxy. In 2020, Moscow introduced online voting, allowing cosmonauts cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin to cast his vote directly from the ISS. Voting from space shows that even in the most extreme environments, democracy reaches all the way to the stars. This has been a bit from Bob's Brain. Thank you for watching. Like and repost. Share with your friends to remind them to vote on November 5th.